Hello, and welcome to the After Show Afterthoughts. I am here with Monica and Dave Willard. I'm Lenny Godfrey. We would just finished Lenny Godfrey Straight No Chaser, and this is the Dynamo Couple. This is the super couple. This is the power couple that I've been talking about that he's always shaking his head. I don't pay him any attention. Um, that I think just there, you, you know, there are people who talk a lot and then there are people who do things and you all really do. You're the movers and shakers. So thank you so very much for coming on the show. And thank you for sharing all those wonderful, wonderful moments in your lives and the material, Monica, that you, you, uh, you sent me. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy that, the poem. Thank you so very, very much. Oh, good. You know, uh, you all have really had uh, a wonderful journey together starting in college yep and all the way through and uh and i will say to you monica dave is so proud of all the work that you do i hear about it a lot he's mm -hmm. so very very proud and i'm very proud of dave yeah i you am know? too yes <laughs> <laughs> you know because you know he's he's very brave he's you know he's he, when we, when we were associates at, at the very, for years uh, at ArtsQuest, and then when the whole thing came up uh, in performing arts, the, the issue came up in, in performing arts uh, that there was a meeting and everyone was, the, the George Floyd incident happened and we were having a meeting, we're having a meeting and then they were about to close out the meeting. And I said, you all, are kidding right you're not you're going to close out the meeting you're not going to mention what's happening in the world and that's what started every, the ball rolling and then we brought Dr. Ethel Drayton Craig in to talk about the relationship in our communities and everything and Dave she invited Dave and Dave was there and then you know Dave and I started talking and that's when our relationship got stronger when he realized you know um, I, I am I am I will always be a performer. Last night, I I uh, streamed the 54 Below. Cheetah Rivera was there talking about Leonard Bernstein and um uh, and what West Side Story. But it was a dedication to to as they call him Lenny's. They call him Lenny. Mm -hmm. like, oh God, uh, Lenny's work. And I looked at that at, at that environment, and I thought, well, this is this is where I love being. I mean, I love doing this, but that's uh, Nothing will take the place of that. Nothing will ever take the place of that. And I understand, you know, Dave, Dave's bravery of coming from one career and going in, actually making that leap into a performing career. It's not easy. It's not easy, you know. So congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. Thanks for all the compliments for both of us. Mm -hmm. And if we ever need a publicist, <laughs> we'll definitely hire you. Yeah. One thing that we didn't get a chance to emphasize so much in the previous audio, audio session was that one theme between us is you may have gotten this global and local, okay? Mm -hmm. So she's been all over the world. We have a list of countries. I've been on some of the cushier trips um, when I was invited, <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's been all over the world pursuing her work, and I've had the privilege of being involved in the local community, and I was to a certain extent on Long Island, because we were active members of a church, and we sort of were starting a community outreach program for Olympus, but it was much more fully developed once we moved our headquarters here, because everything was new, and we wanted to make a statement, make an impact. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, was I think everyone working. did. Yes. With arts quest. Yes. That yeah. is a good experience to get in right at the very beginning. I really enjoyed watching them grow and where they are now and, you know, and all that journey. So, and that's, what's wonderful about the arts. It's a journey. You know, mm -hmm. once you get to the destination, I get bored. I said, okay, we've done it. <laughs> what's next? What's next? We've conquered that, you know, uh, shows that run. I mean, I, the Phantom is going to close on Broadway after 25 years. I don't know if I could do one show for 25 years. I, you know, I was uh, a student in high school, uh, president of my school when XO, SO, it was SO, and then it turned into Exxon. When I um, joined them, they recruited me to be a student uh, executive there. And I did that all through college. And um, 
I thought when they when it came up that I want to stay. Of course, my father had a heart attack when I said no. Um, but it was one of those things is I just didn't want to do something again and again and again and again. I wanted different journeys, you know. And so to be on something, I I commend anyone who's been on a show for 25 years, 15 years. That's that's a long journey. That's a long, long journey. And it takes a wonderful discipline in order to do that. I don't know if I have that, but I'm willing to try. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I had a, a varied career at Olympus and I had a number of assignments and that, you know, saw me through and it was actually 31 years. Um, but Monica also has had a, a, quite a journey uh, representing these different organizations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes with a different mission or a different focus, but definitely within uh, the sphere that is most important to her. Mm -hmm. And I just enjoyed listening to her talk about it because I, she enthusiastically accepted your invitation. That's thing number one. But I didn't know really how deeply she was going to go in terms of the arts influencing either her life or her um, career. And turns out, it was both. Well, you know, I, you can tell though, you know, one of the things that, um, that my husband asked me, he said, well, how do you determine who's coming on the show? You know? And I said, really by, by, if I know the person understanding the influence that the arts has, if I don't know them hearing about the influence that the arts has. And I mean, I've had people on here who studied to be concert pianists and then wound up to be an executive in a corporation. And they never, no one ever knew it until they came on the show. Mm. But they studied, you know. I said, but how does that influence how you run your business? And it does. It does. There's a freeing kind of way. There's a, there's a, a way in which people you know, because of the arts, you want to hear other people's ideas. It doesn't, it opens your mind. It doesn't close your mind. And all of those, those concepts are so very, very important to articulate because people don't really realize it. It happens, but until you bring it up to them, they go, oh, I didn't really think of it that way. Mm -hmm. Hello, yeah. the, yeah. the, you know. So I thank you all for bringing that to the forefront, uh, for bringing the, the 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 corporate world and the the world of of the when people think of the United Nations whether it's non governmental or not they do think of politics and 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 you think oh the involvement of the arts in it is absolutely so fascinating and so wonderful that we fit into that also that the colorfulness how how that whole building was designed I remember when I was a little girl you know walking up to it going boy. Who thought of this? This is an odd looking thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And there's a new mural on the UN right now. Oh, really? I'll send you the picture of it. We just yep. took it. Oh, okay. And, you know, I mean, but it, it's it, this, it, it, the, the arts just, it just seeps in somehow quietly. And I think that's wonderful. But because it's so quiet, people don't acknowledge it enough. And so I'm here to herald that in the little way that I can, you know, and, and to do the things that I do, you know, so thanks. It's wonderful. And you did a great job. You look gorgeous. Thank and you. I just want to say thank you. This was a fun way to um, uh, have an early dinner and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to um, actually talk about something that really is important. And I just thank the artists who share their talent because it is not easy in many ways. And sometimes it brings an expression where words can't even begin mm -hmm. to show what's going on. And I think about the art therapists and the music therapists. And, and I also think about haiku poetry and how three lines can make a difference in someone's exactly. life. You know, it, it it's so healing. You know, how, look how healing it is, how so many different forms of the arts, how the, the visual arts is healing, how music is healing, all of those things, how when they really want to reach children or, or people who have not spoken in a long time, they, they do it through music and all of those things. It's such a wonderful craft to be a part of, but it's also a difficult one because 
Um, when you want to be genuine, you want to be true to it. Sometimes your voice, it's hard to maintain your voice. They want to control the voice, the commercialism of it can try to com can, you know, control it. So it's hard to hang in there, you know, and yeah. be genuine and long lasting. Yeah. Well, you, you said something in the radio program, which I will remember and quote you on it. It's not uh -oh. directly related to the arts. It's that um, if we're allowed to think what we want to think, then other people are allowed to think what they want to think. And, you know, that's so true. Yeah, it, it's it's hurtful sometimes, you know, I mean, there are people who think very differently from me, but I, you know, I got it from when you first start in the business and this whole thing of getting reviews. And I've been very, very blessed with getting the, those things that the way people say nice things about you. But one, one person said to me, you know, um, the day may come when someone doesn't agree with your interpretation. Uh, you have to believe that as well. If you believe the good, then you've got to believe the bad, you know? And then that's when I stopped reading the reviews. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use, I don't do them at all now. No, I was like, oh, okay, I'm not, you know, because it's true. Um, it can influence you. you. You can, it can, it can blow your head up and, and you can, it can change your interpretation or it can deflate you so much that you don't, you don't, you don't support your own interpretation. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 I give it out that everyone has their ability. Sometimes it's weeks and, and, and months and sometimes years. Uh, and afterwards I'll pick up something. Someone says, well, Lenny, you really should read what they said about you. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that they enjoyed it. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. That's an interesting interpretation, but it didn't belong in that, in that production you can't change an interpretation because it's not just you. It's everybody in that production. And if you decide to change something because somebody said it, it affects everybody else. So you need to stay genuine and clear to it. So those, all those voices, whether we want to hear them or not, they need to be heard. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to be banned. We shouldn't ban them, mm -hmm. but you know, um, uh, but we hope that it, it works and makes us a better, better people better nation, better culture, better society, better world. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you put this in the Zoom because it was impactful when you said it on the radio. Well, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And I'm going to let you all go because, you know, you all have eaten, <laughs> eaten early. And <laughs> yeah, it was so rare. So rare. <laughs> and, and, you know, to accommodate my time, thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure and so much fun having both of you. Thank you for coming on Lenny Goffey Street No Chaser. Thank you for taking a little time here and doing the after show afterthoughts. And I will see you on the radio. Maybe you'll tune in and listen to see what other people are saying in the arts every now and again. Just tune in and come back, will you, please? Thank well, you. And I'd love to see you outside of the Zoom room. Well, <laughs> yes, we'll you know, I'm Zoom. getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting, okay. there. you know, you know, we're, we're, I am actually, actually trying to plan something. Wouldn't it be lovely to have a, a holiday live somewhere? Hmm. Hmm. Keep yeah. that thought. Keep okay. that thought. I'll keep it. Thank you. All right. Thank you now. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to end this and then you will hold for a second. Thank you everyone yeah. for tuning in to the after show after thoughts, and we'll see you the next time. See you on the radio. Lenny Godfrey here. Bye-bye.